Hi everyone. Um, I thought I'd do my own sort of little midweek chat type video here uh, because this is something I've been thinking about for a little bit um, and just wanted to like bounce a topic off of everybody. Um, Don John, the Joseph Gordon-Levitt directorial debut comes out uh, just right around the corner. Um, and when I saw the trailer for this movie, I, I was pretty excited by it. I, I, I thought it looked like a lot of fun, and I especially found it fun how um, Gordon Levitt was rocking out to uh, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch at the end. Um, thought that was a really fun scene. Um, and since that time, I've actually um, found the video on YouTube and uh, kind of enjoyed it. And I remember really not liking the movie, uh, the uh, the song, and the video all that much. You know, I just didn't like this Marky Mark guy, a cocky guy who spends all his time weightlifting and just posing and stuff like that, you know. Um, it's a fun song and everything like that, but it was just like, eh, who is this guy, man? He sucks. <laughs> um, you know, and, and I wasn't big on the song either, but mostly it was just like, you know, you know, you know, it's a standard sort of rap persona where, you know, I'm the best ever, what have you. Uh, you know, I'm so great and everything like that. All the ladies love me, that kind of thing, you know, just really, really annoying. Um, and of course, it wasn't around uh, until around 1999 when Three Kings came out. I was like, okay, Mark Wahlberg, he's, he's pretty good. You know, I like Three Kings, he's good in it, you know, he's, he's got something here. So I sort of forgot about Marky Mark. Um, and then when he, uh, and then when this trailer came out, and I ended up enjoying the song all over again, and thinking like that, well, this is kind of strange how much, how I like the song now, but not then. Maybe it was the persona that bothered me, but I'm just wondering if it's sort of like a nostalgia thing, whether or not I'm, I'm, I'm fond of this song now, because it came out, like, what, in the early 90s, you know, when I was like, what, around... 18, 19 years old, and I can't remember what year it came out exactly, but um, uh, now it's now it's cool. Now I enjoy it. Um, and it reminds me, because um, Mark Wahlberg has done a lot to distance himself uh, from his Marky Mark persona. It was the thing that sort of got him noticed, and he might not have become an actor, gotten cast in movies if he hadn't done the song in the first place. And he doesn't want to be associated with the song anymore. But I just thought it would have been really fun if as part of the promotion for the movie, maybe the MTV Awards, instead of Miley Cyrus doing her thing, you know, Joseph Gordon-Levitt would come out and introduce Mark Wahlberg, and Mark Wahlberg had finally, uh, you know, uh, been cool with his, his hip-hop past and done the song one last time. Um, there was this reality series called The Surreal Life that was on a bunch of years ago in which Vanilla Ice was sort of in the same position. He didn't want to be called Vanilla Ice anymore. He's like, that's not me anymore. I just, you know, I'm who I am now and everything like that. But on the show, there's this one night which they go out to a bar, him and the other cast members, and there's a, a, a jukebox there, you know, uh, uh, and, and, uh, or a karaoke box, and they're like, hey, Ice Ice Baby's on it. Hey, Vanilla Ice, you should, like, sing the song for everybody. He's like, no, I don't want to do it. No, I don't want to do it. Finally, they convince him to do it, and he just kills it, you know? He, like, it's like not even a day has passed. He just rattles off those lyrics like nothing, and it's great. I just thought, hey, you know, that'd be awesome if Mark Wahlberg did something like that. Anyway, um, my question is about the, about the nostalgia thing, whether or not nostalgia actually sort of improves things uh, over time, whether or not you end up liking stuff more because <clears throat> you heard it or it came from a particular point in your life that you're nostalgic about now. Um, there is stuff that I'm not nostalgic for, uh, like, for example, the uh, Spin Doctor song, Two Princes, the most annoying pop song ever. Um, my goodness, I, I hate that song. I, I, I don't ever want to hear it again. And it seemed to come on all the time. As soon as the video would come on, on MTV, and you'd see that sepia tone photography and the guy holding up the title card that says, Once Upon a Time, and I'm just like, not again, not this song again, oh my goodness. Um, but, uh, but, uh, Marky Mark and the Funky Munch, good vibrations, now I'm cool with it. And it might have something to do with the association with the, uh, new film. Or it might just be a nostalgia thing. I don't know. But, uh, you know, what's your take on that? Is there something that you didn't like back in the day, but you like now because of that nostalgia factor? That's what I'm wondering. Anyway, thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye.